Alok, you know, from the 6th of August, uh, when you reported on a six-year-old kidnapped and raped in Harpur, almost on a daily basis, there have been some very gruesome incidents that have been coming to light in Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh, just what is going on? Uh, Wait, li I'd like to start by just uh, giving some more details about the Kheri incident, which the police has shared. Uh, they are saying that uh, they have booked one person for murder. This person belongs to the same village where the girl used to live. And that there is uh, an old dispute angle to it in the sense that the families of this person, the girl who died and the other person, were locked in some kind of a dispute. And that has led to the murder of this girl. There is no sexual assault to the uh, angle to this story, at least at the moment, is what the police is saying. So that's the update. The larger story that you are pointing about, yes, it's very true. In the last month or so, there have been a spate of horrific crimes against women, starting from West UP all the way to Eastern UP. Lakhimpur Kheri has been a particular concern. There have been two instances a week apart of the rape and murder of uh, teenage girls there. And that, of course, points to the breakdown or at least uh, puts questions on the law and order machinery in Uttar right. Pradesh. Well, Alok, you're saying that it definitely puts questions, but are there any answers? Has there been any kind of a stock-taking exercise that you've learnt of? Is the police perhaps looking into an increased uh, crime rate, especially these gruesome incidents, uh, you know, against women and children that you've been reporting on? Well, you see, you know, I mean, I just indulge me for 30 seconds. I remember in 2009, there used to be this DGP in Bihar. And he once told me, I was after his life about some story. And he gave me all the information. And then he said, if you are hiding from the press, then you will go back. If you are hiding from the press, then we will be hiding from the press. So, it's good to hide from the press. So, it's good to hide from the Now, I wonder whether this principle applies to a state like Uttar Pradesh that is even more vast than Bihar. It has 75 districts yes. and a 23 crore population. I remember chatting with you on WhatsApp earlier yesterday and uh, this data that they are giving out. Now, they are saying that there's been, say, a 7% decrease this year in murders and a 28% decrease in rapes. Right. But what are they doing? What is the UP government doing? Right. They have taken data, Ishika, from the 1st of January this year to July, and they are comparing it to the whole of 2019 right. and then pointing to this decrease. Now, you tell me, even a simple mathematical hmm. calculation will prove that this is not correct. All right, so there is a mathematical calculation, you know, that's of course subject to many questions and scrutinies at this point. But Alok, you know, one has seen these cases that you've been reporting on and one has been wondering what's happening to the investigation in these particular cases. Have, you know, people been arrested, put behind bars? Is there a larger message that is being sent out that this is not acceptable and that you will be punished for these acts of crime? See, I feel there are two things, Rishika. Number one, yes, arrests have been made in almost every case. I remember one case in Hapur where this young girl was kidnapped and then raped and she is still in a Merit hospital requiring multiple surgeries just to survive. It took the police one week to arrest uh, the accused, but they did so. It's not to say that the police is not arresting or that the police is not being proactive. What seems to be missing is that atmosphere. You see, you know, in normal Thana level policing, you know, all of us know that ek mahal wali baat hoti bhai, there is some kind of a fear of the law in yes. the eyes of perpetrators or criminals. They feel that if they do something like this, there will be a lot of issues. Is that the case in districts across Uttar Pradesh? I think that is the question to ask. And Lakhimpur Kheri being perhaps among the worst, Alok, not the first story that we're reporting from there. On the 15th of August, you reported on the rape of a 13-year-old who was strangled to death again in this very same area. Well, you're right. Uh, I reported that and then I remember reporting another story of a teenage girl again found uh, murdered and sexual assault was also confirmed. So, yes, there have been a string of incidents uh, from Lakhimpur Kheri, even this one. The body of that three-year-old being found, Rishika, it might not be a sexual assault case, but it is still a murder. And it, it is a heinous, serious crime. The body of a three-year-old being found, some of the visuals are very difficult to look at, including yes. all, I mean, the emotions of the family who've lost their three-year-old. So, yes, it is a district. Each time we've had police responses. But I think the question that we must ask is, are they enough? Right.